Hi, and welcome to Everyone Deserves to Learn. Thank you so much for stopping by my TPT store. I am going to talk to you a little bit today about one of my very favorite resources, something that I use day in and day out, month in and month out, year after year in the classroom, and it's my subject verb agreement unit. Um, something that is important about this is that I like to have it displayed basically all year round, whether it's posters hanging up in my room, um, cut in half and clipped to a binder ring so that students can use it. It's something that is always, always a presence. So let's get started. Um, I start out, when I start teaching my students about subjects and verbs, we make a little bit of a chant. So I always say, one subject equals verb plus s. And then the next one is, two subjects equals verb minus s. And that's something that we just kind of clap out or chant out whenever we need it. The next one I have is right here and it's called the super s rule and it's another little chant we do and it says I and you, no s, he and she, yes s, and it relates to those verbs like eat and play and like and want, things that students use all the time, but I find that my students are constantly going to say things like he like, she like, they want. So it's just a little bit of a ditty to help them get through that. Also included in this pack are verb examples themselves. So you can put these on a binder ring or you can go ahead and just print them out and hang them in the room. Just leave them up somewhere for students to access them to reference them. I tried to pick the most commonly used verbs that I heard my students not only saying, but making the mistakes on. Of course, there are hundreds and hundreds of others that aren't included, but I think once they go through those and they very slowly get to understand the pattern of verb conjugation. Here's just a fun subject verb scoot, something that you can use as task cards, something that you can use as a whole group game, um, even if you're, you know, working in homework club or something like that, doing after school tutoring. Scoot is such a great way to review any sort of skill. I have an answer key included, a recording sheet, um, a memory game. There's lots of different ways to play this. I have two versions. You can play with the pronouns. Um, or you can take the pronouns out. You can have students, you know, have to make a sentence after they make a match. And then there's some extra worksheets here. You can use um, whole group, small group for fast finishers, however you'd like to use them. I tried to make this pack applicable for many ages and many grade ranges because I work with English language learners um, primarily, and I find that a lot of things need to be tailored to them um, when they're, even when they are fifth graders, they may be working on a third grade level. So this is definitely something that can be used with a variety of language learners, abilities, um, and classroom setups. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour through my subject of verb agreement, posters, scoop, and principles.